Hi everyone, today I'm going to show you how to connect a legacy FireWire device into one of these newer MacBook Pros which have Thunderbolt 3. So if you've looked online, you maybe you've came across this video hopefully because when I looked online I couldn't find very many resources showing how to do this and I found uh, some weird USB-C adapters which didn't work on Amazon and eBay. So I figured now that I figured this out and got it working, I would make this video and help you guys out in case you are having the same situation. So unfortunately, the cheapest way to do this is actually going to cost you about 80 US dollars. And that's because you're going to need this Apple Thunderbolt 3 to Thunderbolt 2 adapter. These retail for 49 US dollars. And then you're going to need a Thunderbolt 2 to Firewire 800 adapter. And that goes for 29 US dollars. And yes, believe it or not, you're you're going to connect a dongle into a dongle. And then into this, you may even connect another dongle, depending on if you need FireWire 800 or 400. Um, for example, this hard drive here only has FireWire 400. And this MacBook, which I'll tell you about in a moment, this has both FireWire 400 and 800. So today, I'm going to show both of these. However, first, I'll also mention there is uh, two other options you can use. The first is there is one Thunderbolt 3 docking station by OWC that retails for $379 and that has a FireWire 800 port on it. And the other option is if you have uh, or come across one of the Apple Thunderbolt monitors which sold for $1,000 probably 10 years ago at this point. Uh, those were discontinued but if you come across one of those they have a FireWire 800 port on them, but you would still need uh, Thunderbolt 3 to Thunderbolt 2 in order to connect that monitor to your Mac. And also to note, if you have a camcorder, um, it may say IEEE 1394 or Sony, used to call it iLink. Um, that uses this small connector, it almost looks like a USB, uh, I don't know what it's called, a USB mini plug. Um, that is also FireWire as well. This is actually an Apple branded FireWire 400 um, to mini plug and you can also get that in the form of this little adapter here. So if you have a uh, an old DV cam, handy cam kind of thing, uh, you, you may need an additional adapter. Uh, for example, here's a cable that goes from 800 to 400. So in that case I would go from Thunderbolt 3 to Thunderbolt 2 to FireWire 800, from 800 to 400, and then 400 into the mini plug. Wow, what, what a lot of adapters. And, but uh, surprisingly it works, and I'll show you here. So first we will connect our Thunderbolt 3 adapter chain into our Mac, and then we need a 800 to 400 to connect into this hard drive here. And in just a moment, that hard drive will spin up, and we should see it mount on the desktop. And there we go. There is my hard drive on the desktop, working through FireWire 400. Of course, this is only going to run as fast as this drive is. You're not going to get any additional speed um, going from 400 to 800 to, I think it's 5 gigabit is Thunderbolt 2, and then 10 or 20, I don't know how many gigabit Thunderbolt 3 is. Uh, doesn't matter, you're not going to get all that speed anyways. So we'll eject that and unplug this. And now um, we will connect up this old MacBook. So this MacBook Pro on the left here is from 2006. Um, yes, it is, and this is 2018 when I'm recording this. And uh, for certain things I actually still use this MacBook. It worked great all these years. With a solid state drive it's plenty fast even though it's a Core 2 Duo. Um, however, it, you might be able to see there on the screen, it has the dreaded graphics problem now, where random lines and checkerboard patterns come up, and the system no longer boots, because once it gets to the login screen, everything just gets all scrambled on the screen, and it just doesn't, doesn't work. Uh, but the, the, the system itself is good. The screen is good. It's not cracked or damaged in any way. Um, so what I did is I just held down the letter T for target disk mode. That makes the hard drive in this system appear as an external device on this system. And as you can see, it already came up. And now here's all my files from this system onto here. So these are just two examples from FireWare 800 
This was Firewire 400. Unfortunately, I don't have a uh, camcorder to try the mini plug, but that should work as well. Um, and I also have seen some people that have uh, sound mixing boards or DJ consoles that may use this style plug. Um, those devices will work as well um, with these newer MacBooks. Uh, so I hope you guys found this video useful. And uh, if it helped you out, I'd appreciate if you like and subscribe. And if you have any questions, you can leave those in the comments. And uh, I'll put links to all these different cables adapters in the video description. And uh, thanks for watching, and have a great day.